Finally, it's time to make that diamond pick. Huh, I could have sworn I got some diamonds yesterday. Well, guess I better go mining again. my head. Well, where am I? Who are you? I'm Dim. Who are you? I'm Siv. What brings you to this world? How did you even get here? Uh, the last thing I remember was finding some diamonds in a cave. Then everything just went black. Oh, well now you're here. This is a different world. I've never seen you here before. I don't think you're from here. I don't or think I am. You? Well, you're all covered in goo, or whatever this is. <laughs> yeah, my head's really hurting. Oh, there's there's some pink stuff sticking out. I think that's your brains. Um, I don't want to get too close. <laughs> that may be for the best. There were some zombies as well, I remember. Oh, maybe they decided to take a bite. I think so. But yeah, welcome to this world, I guess. You have to stay here for now. I don't know how to travel the realms. At least not yet. This is... Be. This is Daybound. A wonderful place. Full of wonderful people. Do you want to oh, come sorry. take a look? Yeah, that would be would be good. Get some oh, help and some oh. food. Oh, yeah, oh, we can... Hey, hello! 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 Looks like we've got ourselves doing? a new neighbour here somewhere. Yeah. Yep. Found him in the woods in a hole. And there's brains. In the woods in the hole. Yeah. Are you hungry? Very much. Here, have some carrots. Thank you very much. Everybody here is very nice. I think I'll, I'll stay here for a, a little while. Just stay until I get better. Yeah, sure. You're welcome to stay. Do you want to see what else we have? We have lovely yeah. buildings. That sounds great. These are the gates to... Daybound Village. This is our starter area. Feel free to set up a little base here if you like. We have a lot of community yeah, builds. Village. Down here is just, you know, the the early game farming stuff. If you ever want iron villager trading, just go down there. Get yourself some gear. Good yeah, trading. Bye, Hoodie. Oh, no. Hey! <laughs> Moving on. <I'm> <laughs> I find oh, myself very yeah. entertaining. <laughs> Got a real comedian here. Indeed. And here we have our community farms. Very simple farming stuff. Bees, chickens, crops. And if you need random blocks or want to dump your garbage, this is our community storage that I also built. <laughs> Do you want a chest plate? <laughs> and helmets? Yeah, I think with uh, how damaged I am, this will be very helpful. Yeah, yeah, better than nothing. Be yeah, definitely. Down here, we have um, the courthouse, which is where people have trials. They, they are not fair. There's just people sent to prison for unknown reasons. Very cruel. We don't go in there. We don't talk about it. This is the house of the villager elder, Granville. He's currently in prison. Like I said, we oh, don't so talk about say. it. So that brings us to this wonderful area. These are the docks and these are the shops. And you can buy a lot of stuff. This is a prison. Ignore this prison. But the other builds are shops. Why is there a gaping hole? Uh, because I broke my own build. So if you want to go shopping, you can go shopping here. Or you can go to the shopping district. You would just have to go through the nether. Ow. And you'll you'll find directions. The portal is in this lovely nether building over there. I'm getting distracted. Yes, this mm -hmm. is the area for new people to settle in. I see the spots have already been claimed, but yeah. there are a couple free plots still available. And I think you can just kind of build wherever you want, wherever there's free space and there's no sign claiming it. Just yeah. build. Be building my campsite here and squatting here at the moment. So don't, don't evict me, okay? Could always close up with you, Hoodie, when it gets cold at night. 
Well, that was great. Thanks very much for the tour. I think I'll be quite happy here. And there's a lot of stuff for me to do. Will I heal up from this zombie and creeper attack? Whatever's happened to me. Oh yeah, sure. If you need help, just ask any of us. We'll be there to help out. And welcome to Daybound. Welcome to Daybound. Yay. Welcome. Hello and welcome to the Daybound server. I hope you enjoyed that little intro cinematic and the tour. I just want to give a big thank you to Sev, Hood and Rabbit for taking the time to show me around. And if you'd like to see more from the other server members, be sure to check the description down below. As you may have noticed, I got myself a custom skin in the form of a zombified doom guy. I think it does a good job of mixing my name with my love of zombies. And yes, I am that one person watching all of those zombie movies being dumped onto the streaming services. As you saw during the intro, I have a bit of brain leakage. So I think for a base area, we should try and find somewhere that will help serve the pain. But before we set out to find a new base area, I have a couple things I better take care of. Fill in the creeper hole I arrived in. Quickly reserve a plot in the village. And now we can go find an area for our new base. Ah, that cool breeze feels really nice on the old exposed brain. I think this is a perfect place to call home, but I don't want to spend all night out in the cold, so let me get some building materials together and build our first house. And there we have it, our house is all up and running. So as you could probably tell from the time lapse, I've decided to go with a Viking style of build. I thought for this area it would be cool to do a Viking village with a little sort of wintery slash snowy theme. And along with that, I'm also going to incorporate the existing village that's sort of broken up along this mountain here and turn these houses into more Viking style of houses. I'm also not going to go with a traditional Viking style and go with a more sort of stylized or fantasy look, just so we can incorporate more building blocks and have a more unique and interesting look to all of the houses and buildings. As well as that, I've also done a bit of terraforming, so I've raised the land up over here, and this little frozen river, it used to be broken up into a few different sections, but starting over here, I've made it all one continuous section, all the way around, and out to sea here. I figured since we're Vikings, we'd probably get around by boat most of the time, so having the river flow through all the way, would be a very handy and good idea. So as well as doing the exterior of the house, I've also done the interior. So over here we have a little kitchen, we've got a campfire to cook all of our food, we've got some exposed meats here, some freshly caught squid and some storage, and a little bit more of a traditional kitchen here with some utensils and cups to get washed. Next to that we have a little seating area where we can relax and eat our food, some more random bits of storage, and at the back of the house here we have our workbenches and some more storage where we can craft all of our items. Coming upstairs, as you might imagine, this is where we have our bedroom. Again, we've got even more storage lying about, our bed, a little bit of decoration, and a desk over here where we can come and take any notes on villages or routes that we've went down while we're out raiding or pillaging. And before we go, I also have one more thing to show you to get into the Viking spirit, but I'm going to need you to close your eyes quickly. I decided to get myself a Viking style cloak. 
I figured since I'm full of holes this would help keep me warm on those cold winter evenings and I also have a shield on my back for a little bit of extra protection. Thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed the video be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with the videos from the Daybound server as well as more Minecraft content. In the next episode I want to get our portal up and running, our Viking village is a few thousand blocks away from the Daybound village so making that journey as short as possible would be very helpful. I won't give away all the details about the portal build just now, all I will say is that if you enjoy the big sword themed portal builds this is a little spin on that idea. But until then, I'll see you later. Bye.